I think we have to like we're going through a lot of effort to make these babies right and so it's okay to like acknowledge that and send out those positive thoughts into the universe Hi, today is Wednesday, April 4th. Happy hump day to you. Happy hump day to you. Ah, it's um, it's raining here in New York, but I'll take it over the snow. We had snow on Monday, so, you know, I'm okay with the rain. I'm not going to wear my new rain boots because I have acupuncture tonight, and I don't feel like lugging all that stuff downtown. I did pack my lunch and took a snack, so, um, you know. Baby steps. I gotta get back on track of getting in the flow of things. Breakfast, lunch. I didn't make a shake um, and I wanna skedaddle. So, <sighs> the good news is that I've taken steps to take care of myself. And um, yeah, we'll improve on that every day. How are you guys doing? Where? What is the weather like where you are, wherever you are? I know some of you guys are in Hawaii, some of you guys are in the UK, some of you guys are in the Midwest, some of you guys are in Canada. Let me know, especially if you have sunshine, let me know. But if you have uh, snow and rain and want to commiserate, I definitely want to hear about that too. But uh, if you have sunshine, is there a way that you guys can upload pictures like in the messages? I would love to see some sunshine. Um, but never fear, the first sunny day that it's here, I'm gonna put it on the channel. We can all uh, bask in the sunshine. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Believe it or not, I am not running late. Uh, I'm gonna head off to work. It's a busy day. I wanna get out on time so I can get to acupuncture. Um, but yeah, that's all that I have. Um, oh, and I have the rest of the um, paperwork that I'm going to email over to the new RE. And luckily I found my copy from my um, general practitioner because what they finally emailed me was like 2017 paperwork. So again, I'm gonna reiterate, keep a file of all your medical records for TTC because like most REs wanna see your mammogram. They wanna see if you've had an a HSG, they wanna see that obviously. Um, your physical, your pap smear, just like keep it all in one place for your own um, sanity. That way if you wanna switch or if you haven't gone to an RE yet and wanna go to an RE, that way you just have it all there. Um, it makes it easier, that, that it makes it an easier starting point. <sighs> okay, on that note, I am gonna bundle up and head out into the rain and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so remember I said I brought my lunch. I smelled garlic and I wanted that, so I went to the cafeteria and I got these. It's got like shrimp and roasted garlic and some other stuff. So either I'll have to save that in the fridge for lunch tomorrow. Um, or take it back home, but Cheyenne took out lamb kebab, so we're having that for dinner. Um, that's easier for me to make, so. Um, yes. I cheated, but I got shrimp, it is healthy. So it is healthy. It's a bed of spinach. There's shrimp in there, roasted garlic, tomato, um, mushroom, quinoa, corn and this yummy dressing thingy so much better than what I brought at least for what I wanted today hi guys so headed to acupuncture um, I went downstairs to Dwayne Reed and I got pineapples after lunch like and I don't know why because I was I was thinking to myself yesterday like what a nice cycle it's been I haven't worried about anything and not stressing and then I went and got pineapple so I was telling myself like hopefully you guys can hear me because it's windy um I was telling myself like don't turn into a crazy person lady like you don't even know if you caught the egg like just be cool but I did eat the pineapple but uh I'm not gonna go nuts because then I was like should I start testing for progesterone and like, I'm not doing that I'm, I'm just gonna relax um I can't I can't do it to myself I need a break um, all right, headed to acupuncture. It's windy AF out here, not the TTC AF. <laughs> but um, I will uh, talk to you guys when I get down there because I'm not even sure if you can hear me. <laughs> Getting ready to walk into acupuncture. I don't know, that camera looks blurry. 
Okay, getting ready to walk into acupuncture. Tonight I have Leah, um, because Clara is no longer here. I can't remember if I've had a session with Leah before or not, but we'll see, I'm excited. <sighs> All done with acupuncture now. It's, um, it was different. She didn't do a needle in this ear. She did do one in my forehead. I don't think she did one here. But if I remember correctly, this one helps you sleep better. So we'll see, or helps me sleep better. Um, and then I'm still not, there we go. Um, she didn't do any here. And she did some in my ankles. So we'll see. I did doze off, which is always nice. Um, gonna head home now and um, try to relax. I, oh, I got a new tincture for my little face. She gave me an ounce of it, so. Change is good. Hi, Fertility Fam! How are you? I hope you're well. I've made it home. I hope you're home and snuggly. Um, yeah, acupuncture was great. Leah was great. Um, next week she's not available, so I'm going to have Noah, who I had before. Um, so we'll see how that goes. He was okay last time. He was nosy, though. He like wanted to know what I did exactly for a living, which I, I don't know what that has to do with acupuncture, but you know, hey whatever um so yeah it was good i relaxed and um deidre sent me an email saying that she recommended oh no i can't i think it's moxby where they put like heating cups on it but i didn't see it until after acupuncture so i will definitely um ask for that next time that i go so thank you for that suggestion deidre um yeah so that was it i think for the day i was reading on the train um my book on fertile ground or not my book the book on fertile ground from helen adrian and this part struck me i wanted to to read to you guys a little bit of it so she was working with a woman who was getting ready to go through ivf and she had had a failed ivf before um but so this time she'd been doing the um hypnosis and had the tape and the meditation and she had gone into pottery barn kids and saw this um nursery set and imagined it um for her child for her child's nursery which that's in one of my meditations i mean not to go to pottery barn kids but <laughs> to imagine building the nursery for the baby and imagine the baby being there and going to sleep um that's one of the meditations that i have uh i'll put a link in it it's it's one that i found on youtube that i really enjoy but so anyway i digress i just want to read this piece to you guys um so the, she had fallen in love with simple white furniture and bedding that was a soft blue with puffy white clouds. She allowed herself to imagine that this would be the decor of her child's room. I used her imagery in the trance, as you will see. Uh, and then she this is Helen who's speaking. Um, you may think it is a strange or, or risky, you may think it is strange or risky to go so far as to imagine that in vitro fertilization will be successful without having a guarantee. Most people, if left to their own devices, shy away from this, fearing that the disappointment, should it not work, would be infinitely more devastating. Truth be told, the disappointment will be the same and it will be painful. You cannot protect yourself from this kind of disappointment. So you may as well do your best. You may as well do the best you can to believe in a positive outcome. That really struck me. That resonated with me. Um, to me, that's sort of like the definition of hope, right? And I think I needed to hear that tonight because I had been talking about holding back and being cautiously optimistic and not wanting it too much. And um, you can't control those things. And, and by trying to hold it back, I'm not reducing the pain, even though somehow in my mind I told myself that I was. Like if I didn't want it too much or if I didn't hope for it too much. Um, but I think we have to. Like we're going through a lot of effort to make these babies, right? And so it's okay to like acknowledge that and send out those positive thoughts into the universe. And I think that positivity out will come back. Um, and so I think anyway, that for me, that really resonated of like, it's okay to hope it's okay to have these dreams. Um, and I think mainly because it like triggered some things, I guess, in my own childhood or my own upbringing about, um, not being too hopeful and not to say that in my childhood i was taught that but you were kind of taught like measured hope if that makes sense and not just like going for it um because you know the world is filled with uncertainty and landmines and whatnot so 
that's something that I need to work on. I needed to read that tonight. I needed that um, that positive reminder. So yeah, I was hoping I would have my AMH back, but I did not hear. Well, I did hear from the nurse, but we didn't talk about my AMH. She was confirming that she got more of my medical records. Um, so hopefully by Friday I will have that and I'll figure out what's going to move forward. And then I went back. Remember I was talking about being in a fog while I was at the REs. I went back and read the paperwork. So the protocol at this RE is actually to do a scan on cycle day two through four, like whenever you're going in. And that's when she's going to do my antral follicle count. Um, let me take this off. That's when she's going to do my antral follicle count, my AFC. So I'm not really that excited about having a, a date with Wanda while AF is in town. That just seems weird. I haven't had that before. I know I've seen other videos where that has been done. Um, if you've had it done, let me know what your experience was. Like, it just seems awkward and weird and, I don't know, uncomfortable. But, um, if you have, if you've had it, leave a comment down below and tell me it's gonna be okay or it's gonna be as bad as I think it is so I can not, um, freak out about it. But, yeah, so that will happen whenever, if, cycle day one comes and I've got a call and so, yeah. But I am, I'm just, overall, I slept better last night. I was, like, feeling good about this new um, center and just how it, like, resonated with me and landed on me. And I just feel, like, positive things ahead. So we'll, um, we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. All right, ladies, that's all. Um, what is going on with you? Has anybody had any um, good news? I know someone um, sent me a note, a couple of notes. I got a note from Anna in Malaysia who sent me a bunch of great information um, about CHR, um, Center for Reproductive Health and Advanced um, working with women of advanced maternal age. So thank you for that, Anna. Um, Deidre sent me information about Hawaii IVF and about the acupuncture. So thank you for that. And anybody else who I'm forgetting who has reached out to me, thank you for reaching out to me. And as always, thank you guys for taking time out of your very busy schedules um, to watch my videos, to comment on the videos, to send me emails, um, to root for me. I do appreciate it. I'm rooting for all of you guys too, um, ladies. I really am. Like, I think all of us together we're gonna get our babies. We're gonna do it together. We're, all of our own positivity that we're sending out into the universe is um, is gonna come back in the form of our children. So thank you for that. <sighs> feels good. That feels good to think about. Okay, I've babbled on enough. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Mwah! Baby, that's to you all. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through to make those rainbows